أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نبدو إياك نستعين إيدنا سرعة المستقيم سرعة الذين أنعم تعليم غير مقدوب يالين ولا الدولين آمين O Lord, on our pregnant hearts, sustainer of all mankind, we give um, thanks and glory to you for making um, this minute possible, for making this day possible. Um, may Allah continue to um, help us in his infinite mercy. May not let us down. Insha'Allah. Amen. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah ar-Rabbi al-Amin. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki al-Midin. Iyya kanabbe al-Kanistain. إيدنا سورة المستقيم سورة الذين أنت عليهم غير مكتوب عليهم ولا دوالين آمين فكل جاء هكا وزاك الباطل إن الباطل كان مساوكا رب الشير لي صدر ويسر الحمر وقالوا لخدة من لساني يفقوا كولي على مصر يلا سيد الجليل نسيب رسى بسورة الجليل وطلع بسورة الكمال وصورة بسورة الجمال وفاسا بمن سورة من رب الجليل كل من على يفاني ويبقى وجه ربك الذل جلال والإكرام اتدى من برز وطلع وصهر بسرته فمن وطي عليهم وعليه الذل جلال والإكرام وعلى عليه وصحبه أكون قدر ومدى وعظم سبحان ربك رب السلطة من السلطة والسلام على المسلمين الحمد لله رب العالمين آمين My brothers and sisters in humanity I greet you My brothers and sisters in Islam, I greet you with the best greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My topic today is about um, our nation, you know, really, continuation. The topic of um, our nation. My brothers and sisters, Allah the unique. Allah, in his infinite, um, infinite mercy, has blessed us with Quran to solve all problems of humanity. Allah the greatest says, call me, I shall respond. Ask, I shall give. Verily, our Lord is a merciful Lord. That keep that keeps all his promises to mankind. Our Lord never fail, my brothers and sisters. Let us call on the Lord, the all knower the all-seer of mankind, the all-knower of um, all the secrets, everything that is hidden and everything that is open in the heaven and on earth. My brothers and sisters in humanity, we have a lot of um, sheikh, alpha, ulama, all the people, we have um, brothers and sisters as well, that Allah's one of light Allah has blessed my brothers and sisters in Nigeria. Allah's one of light Allah blessed each and every one created with different things. To discover your blessing, to the to discover what Allah's one of light Allah, the gift that Allah's one of light Allah has blessed you with, that is what the problem is. My brothers and sisters, um, and the moment you discover this blessing, then the next thing, the next step is the purpose, your purpose in life. My brothers and sisters, in humanity, please let us pray. Let us ask for God's intervention to change the hearts of all those responsible for all this, for all the upheaval in Nigeria, our land. So that peace and contentment can reign in Nigeria, insha Allah. My brothers and sisters, um, it's not um, only the government that can find or let me say that can give us a solution. Now we know our, what our problem was. To discover what the problem is, that's the first step. Then the second step is solution. 
the minute you found the solution then everything is easy every other step is easy my brothers and sisters the only help we need is Allah people pray in Nigeria we have a lot of mosques but really my question is do we pray for our nation when you see some people talking they are cursing the land my brothers and sisters all this is not helping our land saying Nigeria is bad or saying bad things about it is not helping us my brothers and sisters Americans Europeans they all appreciate their countries we all need to appreciate our country Nigeria both Nigerians home and Nigerians abroad my brothers and sisters we all need to pray for this country wholeheartedly the way we pray for ourselves the way you wish for yourself the way you will pray for yourself this is how we need to pray for our country so that this prayer can be answered bring empowerment and dignity to your life pray bring empowerment is only in prayer is only by praying that you can bring empowerment dignity to yourself and our nation with faith my brothers and sisters all things are possible nothing is impossible with with faith in god terrorism fighting discrimination isolation humiliation is not what we need now so that other western countries will not come to overthrow us will not come to intervene my brothers and sisters we really need to pray and do something really quick before we regret it's not too late now for us to put hands together christian muslim let us stop discrimination we are all created by god we are all one created by one god there's no difference christians do not have their nose up down here we all have our nose in the in, in the right place eyes in the same place mouth in the same place ears in the same place we are created the same way we look we look we look alike if you look at um, the brother sitting right next to you the sister sitting right next to you you see the look you see the resemblance my brothers and sisters the nose eyes everything is created perfectly the same way if we see this if we see the bond we would stop all this cruelty we will stop all this oppress my brothers and sisters let us allow peace to reign let us allow peace and harmony in our land Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran that wherever that there is too much that, that there, there is too much sin Allah says when there is too much sin his mercy will be far away from us my brothers and sisters we need Allah's mercy in Nigeria before we can get the mercy of Allah you need you brother looking at me right now you need to be merciful to the sister sitting next to you you need to be merciful to brother sitting next to you you need to be merciful to yourself and to others this is the only way we can get mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters in humanity, let us think and do something. Let us think and make a change. Let us think and make a change so that we can have a better and beautiful nation. We need positive self-esteem. My brothers and sisters, positive self-esteem is very very important and we lack this 
in Nigeria. We need to encourage one another and help one another. Feel good about yourself. Feel good about what you do. Whatever you do, carpenter, doctor, lawyer, teacher, whatever you do, appreciate yourself. Feel good about yourself and feel good about what you do. This is the only way you can get joy and happiness. And when you get joy, happiness and peace of mind, then your character, your behavior towards the best man, towards the next person will be good because you feel good with yourself. What do we um, Africans see about ourselves? We see when, when, when a white man is looking at Africans, they see poverty, they see sadness, they see all the bad, 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 bad things. And it's not like that. It's because of the way we present ourselves to them. It's because of the way we present ourselves to them. You know? Everything bad, bad, bad is being said about Africans, more especially Nigerians. It is the way we present ourselves to them. When you say you are from Nigeria, out there in abroad, oh, they, they roll their eyeballs. Why? Because they've heard so much bad, bad things about Nigerians. We need to be able to, we need to do something about this, our character, our behavior, out in abroad and home, back home as well. And all this killing, bombing and all, all over, um, killing and all that, it's not allowed. Let us allow peace to reign. If you kill one, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, if you kill one man, it's as if you have killed the whole of the, the whole of humanity. And if you help one man, one person, it's as if you have helped the whole of humanity. Islam is um, not by force. You can't force people. We cannot force people to accept Islam. Because Islam has a lot of commitment and do's and don'ts. And if you force people to do this, if you force people to accept this religion, it will be hard for them. It's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that guides people. Whoever Allah guides, Allah says in the Holy Quran that whoever, whoever He guides will surely be guided. Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not guide, no one can guide them. My brothers and sisters, we need to change our mindsets. The mindset of Muslims, the mindset of um, Christians, we need to change all these things. We need to come together and save our community, to save our nation, Nigeria. We need to appreciate ourselves and others, appreciate the effort of one another and love one another. We lack all this. Even abroad is affecting Nigerians in abroad. Because it's, that is how it has been. When they do good, um, they do good to someone, they pay them back with bad. So they say, oh, it's Nigerian. I'm not surprised they are Nigerians. Look at that. We hear a lot of this. May Allah help us. When they say someone's still somewhere, they'll say, oh, they are Ni oh, African, or oh, maybe Nigeria. All these things, may Allah swan light Allah help us. We need to correct, look into all these things. This is the solution. This is the only way we can save our community. We need to define ourselves and appreciate ourselves. This is the solution. And the next one is about women, women in uh, Nigeria. We need to allow more women to come out. We need to allow women to be heard. If you educate, what we do not know is that if you educate a woman, it's as if you educate the family because they are the mother. If you deprive a woman, you deprive, you have deprived the family, which will affect the family it will affect the community, it will affect the city, it will affect the state, affect the country and the world as a whole. So, 
we need we need to give the woman a chance to be heard to be seen to be recognized as a partner as a friend not as a baby making machine because the largest population of the world my brothers and sisters are women so the only way we can find solution to any problem or the only way anything can be done you need to put the women in it may Allah help us may Allah save our community may Allah save our nation from poverty I thank you very much for listening to me I'm your sister Jamia Aosunde Watch out for more. Thank you very much for listening. I really appreciate. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be with you.